Hey guys, Spartan 117 GW here, and today we're talking about this gun. This is the G&G &G GTP9. Uh, it is a new pistol from G&G &G that comes in a couple different color variations. Um, essentially, it's a polymer pistol that they basically designed themselves, so it's not based off any real replica, and uses green gas. So as you can see, really, really cool pistol. Comes in two different color variations, all black and black and tan. So obviously this is the two-tone variation. Um, right off the bat, you're gonna notice the very distinct features, the sights, uh, and particularly the serrations on the slide are very, very aggressive, but not like sharp in the way that it'll cut your hands up and whatnot. Um, so very, very easy to manipulate the slide. Uh, the gun has full ambidextrous controls, the slide release, the mag release, uh, also has a push button safety, which is inter interesting, kind of reminds me of a saw. Uh, and it's very, very straightforward. And you also have um, the uh, beaver tail or this whole section right here. You can, um, not necessarily the beaver tail, but the, the back strap. The back strap you can change out. Um, comes with two that you can change out, so shooter's preference. Um, you also have the hop-up adjustment tool here. Um, and let me actually remove the suppressor, if I remember which direction, there we go. This is the, uh, what, the Black Owl suppressor? Or Battle, Battle Owl suppressor. Yeah, Battle Owl. Um, g and suppressor that, uh, plug in, they supplied that as well. But you take this hop up unit adjustments tool, which comes out of the back strap, you stick it into the barrel, and you just have to rotate it till it locks in, till it finds its home. And then now you can spin and when you spin it, you're adjusting the hop up. So that's how you do it. It's kind of cool because you don't have to open the gun. Uh, normally you have to take off the slide and to get to the barrel, to adjust the hop up, a little bit of pin the butt. Um, it kind of reminds me something somewhere between like a 5.7 and H and K and a Glock if they all had a baby. Um, just because the profile, like some of the features, like the mag release is very HK. Um, you know, all polymer guns are very reminiscent of Glocks these days, although this one kind of not so much so. Um, it's very, very, very comfortable gun in the hands. The sights are kind of weird, but they work. Um, they have a very interesting rear sight design where it's like the two arms coming up and then you got the front sight post coming up the middle. Um, there is no plate there for an RMR, but you do have the sights there. So, and considering this is like a $110 gun, I really wasn't expecting there to be like an RMR plate or anything like that on there. Uh, has a Picatinny rail on the bottom there, so you can put all your cool lights, X300s, your O lights, uh, your Inforces on there, kind of Gucci the gun out. And as you can see, it is a threaded barrel. So mine didn't come with the thread protector, not a really big deal for me. But um, as you can see um, from the very beginning, you can take a suppressor and you can put it on there. And let's see if I can do this up. There we go, boom. So you can feel more like James Bond. Um, very, very interesting pistol to use. The ambidextrous controls definitely help a lot. Inserting the mag, um, you know, you can always go with the using this thumb to s release the slide, uh, but it actually comes back far enough where you can actually use this thumb so you can put the magazine in. There you go. Or you can also use the other side if you really, really wanted to. You don't have as much good control that way, but um, that means you can also use it for ambidextrous shooters for lefties as well. Um, very interesting pistol. She has about um, 22 plus rounds in the magazine. Um, magazines are pretty standard fare when it comes to green gas magazines. Um, you feed the BBs through the top feed lip and has a release for the spring, so you can actually, you know, you don't have to hold the spring down when you do that. Then you just release it and you're good to go. And of course, standard green gas fill valves at the bottom. It's kind of always got cool little details on the back of the magazine. Um, it shoots about three, anywhere between 310 to 330, somewhere in that range. Um, for me, sometimes it got a little bit colder, but it's supposed to have essentially this system inside the magazine to kind of help fight the cold a little bit. But I, I was noticing that I was able to get a pretty good amount of shots in this. Um, the tracer unit, also really cool. Doesn't come with the gun, uh, but it's cool that it's compatible. The gun comes with uh, this right here. So if you're like a patch collector, um, well, now you got one that kind of matches the gun itself, especially if you're into this, the gun patches, that's pretty cool. Comes with the speed loader and it also comes with this gun case. Now, to some of you guys, might not be a very big deal, but if you're transporting guns, super, super important. Um, just a standard gun box, I'm not a huge fan of, just because 
they deteriorate, they break. Um, the gun box is a little more robust, so it's cool that they include that with the package and the speed loader. Um, it definitely feels like a very complete package when you get the whole gun out of the box. Um, also feels very nice, very satisfying to shoot, and the ambidextrous features are definitely a plus. And that silver barrel, that silver barrel is pretty cool. So if you guys are interested in the g and GTP9, um, it is a fairly affordable uh, pistol. It's available on most of the websites out there from Evic to whoever else. So if you guys want to check it out, feel free to check out the link in the description below. And uh, big, uh, well, big thanks to G&G for sending this pistol and the glowing dark BBs and the tracer unit, because this, this is actually a pretty cool package. I was kind of skeptical about the look at first, but once it's all put together, that does look pretty cool. So make sure you guys check it out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.